Hey guys, what's up? Zach Calhoun here, co-founder of cloudpano.com. Real excited today because we have a brand new feature that has the potential to totally revolutionize how you create virtual tours on Cloud Pano. The creativity level you're going to be able to add with this new feature, I'm super excited about. Today, we're talking about a new cloudpano.com feature where you can upload still photos. We call them 2D photos inside a 360 environment that you can bounce back and forth from inside your virtual tour. Basically, the feature is uploading 2D still photos, and you can use any photo now to create a virtual tour on cloudpano.com. And there's some distinct advantages with using Cloudpano to build these types of interactive tours, and I'm excited to share it with you today. Let's get started. As we get started today, before we get going, of course, jump onto cloudpayment.com, upgrade your account to Pro Plus to get access to all of our Pro Plus features, including white labeling your domain, using Cloud Pano Live, live video chat to sell more stuff on top of a Cloud Pano virtual tour, and all the other really cool features we built out for you guys and more stuff to come. Um, get excited because we got a lot of really good stuff coming for you guys. It's going to be a fun next couple months and next couple weeks and next few days. Okay, all for a low monthly fee. Okay, so here, check this out. When you visit a typical Cloud Panel 360 virtual tour, most of the time you start off in a 360 environment. It looks just like this. Um, so here's our demo tour example on the website. Now, this oftentimes is more than okay. A quick photo outside in 360 and someone wants to jump in the side, inside of that photo, they just click the arrow and they get started. But sometimes on, on often occasions, the front of the house, say it's a new build and the whole street is under construction and everything around it isn't that attractive like this beautiful neighborhood happens to be, um, you don't always want to utilize a 360 photo in the very beginning. So with that in mind, we, up, we upgraded and now allow for 2D still images to be anywhere in your 360 virtual tour, and they're a part of your virtual tour. So here's an example. I've, I've created a couple of examples. I want to show them to you today. And then I'm going to show you then how to create these and what to do with them and what to look out for as well. So I upload this still photo. This is a, just, just a, a stock image. And as you see here, it's not 360, right? I can't move it around. I can't go anywhere. But if you have a front photo of, a, say, a house or a vehicle and you want to start off with this image, you can add a hotspot anywhere you want, an info spot anywhere you want on a 2D still image. So in this case, in this example, if I was to go to the front entry, I just click right here and it takes me inside the house. And now I'm in a 360 environment, which is really cool. I want to go in the office. I can do that as well. Um, so that now is an option. What is important to know is that you can bounce back and forth from 360 to 2D stills very seamlessly. Okay. You, it's, there's no, it's, there's not, it's very easy to do. Okay. Um, and it's, it's actually is pretty technically challenging from a 360 environment. We're projecting this onto a, a, a 360 environment. Um, so it was, it was technically very challenging to do, but also very cool. Now that you see kind of what it looks like, um, you have the ability to kind of customize the, the experience, which is really neat. Um, also, we al allow for any 2D still image. So if you wanted to create a, say, splash page or a different type of still image, you could do that pretty easily. So here's an example. I just kind of threw together a quick mock-up image. Let's say this is your opening slide on a presentation and you want this to be a splash page or the first page they see on their virtual tour, you can make a custom button to say get started and all of a sudden you're in, inside the house right here to get to kind of start off the presentation. So that's a pretty cool example. This is just an example of a, of a, uh, a demo presentation that I use off the internet. Okay, I'm not gonna show you how to, how to do that more specifically um, and later on. So I wanna show you what this looks like and how to do this, how to build this kind of stuff 
into your virtual tours. I know this is a real estate example and you use it for anything, but I just want to quickly go to editorial fast and then kind of give you some, um, some tips what to look out for as well too. So if you look here in the top right corner, there's something new on every image that's on cloud piano. And if I'm on a 360 photo on top, right, I would say 360. If we're on a 2d or still image, it will say 2d. Um, how does the software know this? Well, there's really one indicator of this. So it's really important as you, you know, export your photos or get them ready to upload into Cloud Piano. The, the 360 photos that are uploaded here are two to one ratio. So that's how we're determining if it's a 360 photo or a 2D still image. Okay. Really important uh, because if your 360 photo is not two to one, it's we're going to assume it's a 2D photo, and that's how we, we, we will we'll project it onto the screen, and it will probably look something, you know, like this. If you're even a slight, slightly off, it will look, um, it'll look, it'll look strange on, on the photo, right? It will bend the photo. So you have to manually come in and, and change the setting to 360, which, which takes an extra second per photo, adds a little bit more time. So you might as well just make sure it's two to one ratio when you get started. Two to one ratio is, all it means is height and width are, are two to one. So the width is two to one. So you did just if if you can't divide it and if you can't divide it in half, then it then it doesn't make sense. Okay. Um. <laughs> so this right here is a still image I uploaded. I'm going to show you how I did this really quickly, and then show you kind of um, what to look out for. So if you, if you just click Add Images, click Select Photo. I have a little folder here. I add this front of house photo um, and it's going to upload it for us. Here it is, it's uploaded. So I'm gonna call this front of house photo. I'm gonna call it three because I have a couple here. Um, now you'll notice something. If I was to go to the right side of this image and I was to zoom out um, this and I click set initial view, there'll be a, some some black coloring around this, okay? Um, because the because that's that's the that's if there's nothing there we, we just we just default it to black okay uh, so this is at eight eight two percent zoom level and I clicked set initial view to save that zoom level really important okay so if I publish this it will look like this on the screen when you get started so see how this is the out the exterior here is black now listen that doesn't look that bad there's nothing necessarily wrong with that but if you click edit tour and you were to use that front of house photo three and I was to zoom in and click set initial view here and now click publish looks a little bit nicer having it built the full screen right so that's what i prefer you can add a hotspot here info spot anywhere you would like to same thing you can do on a 360 photo but now you can do it on a 2d still image really important so what i decided to do was and also a, a quick pointer so if as you go about as you upload these photos your, your photos from you know your 2d still images you're going to kind of find what works best for speed and beauty and uh what what kind of interacts the best with the platform on cloud piano i noticed that this image was a little bit taller than i liked um uh, so the, the the height of it was a little too high for me. So I had cropped out, you know, a big chunk of the sky, and just the the main reason why is because I had I had I had my my margins on both sides of the photo um, were black, and I didn't like that. I wanted to be able to it, just the way this photo worked out. I, I ended up cropping the, the top of the image. You may end up doing something like that to kind of in, in discovering or figuring out what is the most ideal. Um, size for my 2D still images inside Cloud Piano. So work work on that per photo. What based on what what the photo looks like. In this case, there was a very small foreground here where this driveway in um, grass is located. So and, and it had a lot of sky. So anyways, so you you have to work work that out uh, yourself on based on a case by case basis on the images themselves. But what's great though, is you can do some quick corrections, just zoom in real quickly. You can pick link hotspot. If you want to put it right here on top of the door and add that front entry um, area, you can do that right on, right on top of your, um, on your still image. And there it is. And I just click and I just jump right into it. Okay. That's it. So keeping it simple, but also too, there's some obviously obvious customization there if you'd like that. Um, so then I decided, hey, listen, let's 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 think outside of the box here a little bit. Typically, we're always uploading 360 images of stuff, of interiors, of 
RVs, of cars, of of boats, right? We're we're uploading 360 photos of physical spaces or things that exist. What if we just made something that was a 2D image and utilized it to get started a little bit differently? So I decided to create this quick mock-up of a presentation, and you know, I I actually add in one two three four Happy Street here, and I added a custom hotspot, a big orange button that says "Get Started," and it goes to the front entry. Um, so the way I did this was I clicked link hotspot. Okay. I set my, or I click my where I want to go. I clicked this open library button because you can customize any icon that you find anywhere. So I went to the internet and found a get started button and I uploaded to my account and I made that the image I want to use for my hotspot, which now it appears here. And I linked it to, let's just link it to the, the main living area. Um, why not? So I have two of these here, which is fine. Click publish. Obviously, I wouldn't have two in a real presentation, but um, let's go ahead and have one. Now, if I was to start off with this image, it would the first right when I hit, hit the tour it would look something like this, and I would click this button to get started to kind of start my virtual tour. And here I am inside the main living area in the 360 environment, which I really like. Um, so, what's cool about this is you kind of have control of that of that first presentation, that that first impression. Right, and if you wanted to add in text, like 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 I showed you, a more robust or, or different type of presentation, you totally could do that, which is something you can do with two D still image upload, which is a really big deal because uh, the creativity wise, you can do really anything. If you wanted to, um, you know, show off uh, whole, an entire presentations in two D still images, you could do that. Uh, think about the, the 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 possibilities or customizations if um, someone's on a cloud panel live call. And they're jumping through 2D still images and they're hosting and showing different examples and they're, and they're creating a, a true salesmanship presentation on Cloud Pano. That's, that's kind of where we're headed with a lot of these, uh, these tools. It's really cool that you can do that here. And, and basically the projection onto the 360 environment and the quick customization um, allows you to do that. And it creates this really neat, uh, robust possibilities uh, with this feature. I really, really like it. I'm really excited about it. And I'm excited to see what our users on Cloud Pano do with this feature. I mean, there's so much you can do. I mean, look at this. I created this quick in a few seconds, um, this quick little quote unquote splash page. And I added this button in a few minutes. And here I am with a professional getting started um, first image that gets us into our 360 environment. And then I can always bounce back to it whenever I want to. And I can upload my thumbnails, jump around this. If I want to go back to the, let's say I want to jump to the bedroom, I can do that. So as I'm showing someone a prospect, this home or whatever interior you're showing off, um, it starts off really beautifully under control. We know what we're about to do. We're about to see a real estate listing presentation in, in this example. Um, and then we're going to have full control as a salesperson um, who's using this tool to sell more stuff, right? That's what ultimately what, what it's what it's for, to show off and sell and give an experience to folks um, as they get going at the at, at their own interactive desire. Um, so use this. You know, you can use two D still images anywhere within within your Cloud Pano editor. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with uh, with this feature. Um, and of course, if you haven't done it already, go to cloudpano.com, click sign in or, or go GoPro Plus to get started. That's how you get access to all these really cool features, how you white label your own URL, how you create a virtual tour service business or bolt it onto your current digital marketing or real estate business. I mean, gosh, this this is a thriving industry right now. And if, if you jump on Cloud Panel now, you'll be ahead of the curve as the whole world goes virtual, baby. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I'm excited to see what you create on Cloud Panel dot com.